guys welcome back to my channel so today I actually have a really exciting video for you guys I have a review on this palette called more than just a pretty face eyeshadow bronzer and highlighter palette it is by the brand color by TBN here is what it looks like so here's what it looks like as you guys can see I haven't used it at all it comes with eight eyeshadows and it comes with a couple of bronzing colors and then also with the highlighting color here so it looks like these this one might be good for a bronzer and then perhaps this one good for a contour if I want to go for like a really deep contour I don't know I guess maybe this is designed for if you get more tanned or if you're a bit more fair or something like that as you can see there's some really beautiful colors in this palette which yeah I'm pretty excited by it's apparently not tested on animals so this was a present given to me by my sister so I actually don't know where this brand is from I haven't really seen too much about this brand to be honest so that's why I thought I would do a little review for you guys to see what I think and if you guys see it around then maybe you guys could get it too so anyway so how have you guys been this is pretty much the first makeup thing that I've done it's so hot at the moment oh my gosh it's seriously like ridiculously humid so um, for my foundation I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation I don't know what I think about this foundation to be honest everyone okay not everyone but like a lot of the youtubers go on and on about how it's really great and stuff but um, I don't know maybe I'm just using too much or something like that but I don't like how there's no pump that's really super annoying didn't even use a primer to be honest I very rarely use a primer unless I'm like going somewhere in which case I'll I will use a primer Mostly because the primer that I really like is the Hourglass Primer and that is so expensive! So I try not to use it too often. I am using an Exo Beauty brush, round face brush. It's good, I really like it as a brush. However, it is probably one of the most difficult brushes to clean, in my opinion. Yeah, and not only that, because of that foundation, look at how much is left on my hands, seriously. So, yeah, let's just try and wipe that off using the old serviettes left over from Christmas. So you guys know how it is, I'm sure. I'm just gonna use this collection concealer and I'm gonna take it on my eyelids to act as a base for my eyeshadow. So now we'll move on to some bronzer so I think I will use this shade here to bronze today I like the size of the pans I think they're pretty good okay it's pretty decent pretty much put bronzer everywhere it's not super pigmented but I'm not mad I think it's pretty good actually and then with the same brush cuz lazy I'll just dip in just a couple of times into um, this really dark shade here and then just do ever so slight contouring. Yeah, I think that works pretty well actually. Pretty happy with that. But yeah, okay, so my thoughts of the bronzers is that they're pretty good. I think I'll probably use this one here when it's maybe in winter or something like that. Oh, by the way, those bronzers are matte. So I don't know what look I want to do, but I guess I will set, I'll use this, this really light color up here and just put it all over my eyelid just <gasps> oh I just dropped it on the ground oh my god you always see like youtubers doing that and I always think they're just kind of taking the piss but these, these things really happen <laughs> I'll put that light shade all over my lid just to kind of create a nice base not overly pigmented there's not really so many transition set shades so I think maybe I'll use some of the bronzers so I'll go with that light bronzer and put that into the crease I can't see it So I'm just using that highlighter in the palette. It's quite pinky and I think for me I tend to go for more sort of gold rather than pinky frosty colours. It is pretty, like it is giving my face a nice glow which I certainly appreciate. Maybe again, maybe this colour would be a bit better for me in winter when I'm a bit more pale. So I've just built up the colour in, in my crease a little bit so now I'm going to go in with this colour here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. It's quite a warm brown. They blend quite nicely. They're relatively pigmented. They're not overly pigmented, but I think I prefer that with eyeshadows anyway. I don't want it to be like so intense that you can't 
blend it out because I find that a little bit hard but it's it's still pretty pigmented so here's where I'm at at this point let's try out the greens eh? I will start off with maybe this one in here and put that all over the lid tap off the excess oh pretty I feel like with these colors they're definitely satin finishes not not matte and but certainly not like shimmery either oh that's that's cool that's a cool color I like that what do you guys think it's not super pigmented this green could just be this brush because this is probably one of the cheapest brushes you could probably ever get i was watching a, a youtube video and they're saying when you want to blend out instead of like holding it straight on you should actually hold it below and then that way you can see your lid space much better i might put this dark blue I might put this one just on the outer corner of my eye just using the same brush I feel like this blue is way more pigmented. Oh, that's pretty, man. Far out. Okay, cool. I am liking how that is looking. It looks pretty dark and foresty and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I might put on that lighter green. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if because I'm using my finger or what, but damn, that's pretty. Wow, that looks that looks nice. It feels really nice too on my finger. That's really brightened that up a lot. I am genuinely really impressed with that, with how that's gone. I honestly had pretty low expectations. Really pleased with how that looks. Like, don't come into these shadows expecting them to be like super shimmery, because they're not. These sort of bluey green ones. This one here, this goldy one, like that one is a little bit more sort of foiled, I suppose, more shimmery. Whereas the blue ones, nah, not really. They're they're definitely much more like satin finishes. I can't get over how pigmented that brown shade is. Like you just touch it and boom, color. That's how the eyeshadow's looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish up. I'm gonna put on some other highlighter, like just in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just gonna put some more of that kind of bone color just underneath my eyes. Just tidy it up, make it look a bit more blended. Now I am gonna apply some mascara. At the moment I've been really enjoying the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This stuff's really good, I like it for my eyes. Okay, so I am all done with my makeup, guys. So here's how it's looking. I thought I would just do a little recap of what I think of this color by TBN Palette. Yeah, I'm actually really ple pleasantly surprised. I think that starting off with the bronzers, I think that bronzers are, you know, relatively pigmented, but not so pigmented. Buildable, which I really appreciate because I don't want my bronzer to be so full on that I put it on and it's like, bam, there it is, on your face, can't blend it out. The highlighter, hmm, I don't know, like, it does look quite pretty, but I don't know that it's quite me. I, like I said before, I'm just not really a fan of these really super frosty pink highlighters. But the eyeshadows, they all feel really nice. They feel really buttery and not... Oh. I just wiped highlighter all over me. They all feel really nice and buttery, which I really appreciate, and they're pretty easy to blend out. They're like this one is not that pigmented, um, but for sort of a bone color, you don't need it to be massively. Oopsies, you don't need it to be massively pigmented. But yeah, I do really like these colors. I think like the greens and blues I think is pretty cool. I don't really have any colors like this in my collection. So I'm actually really pleased to have some, you know, kind of cool colors like that, which is one of the reasons why I thought I would test it out for this video. I have quite a few colors already sort of in this category. Yeah, I thought there was no real point in me kind of trying out those ones. But yeah, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this palette. I honestly did not go in with a huge amount of expectation because I didn't really know anything about it. So I am very pleasantly surprised with it. I think it's pretty good. I think if you were given this or if you bought this for yourself, if you really like the colors, then I think you would be pretty happy with it. Yeah, I, I can't really say too much more to be honest because I don't know how much it costs. So I can't really compare it to some other palettes that I have. But I think considering the fact that it comes with, you know, three bronzers, a highlighter and eight eyeshadows, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty compact as well, which I quite like. It's nice and slim, which means I can store it in my little makeup storage, which I think is really good. It's by no means the best eyeshadow that I have or that I've tried. So I think 
if it wasn't too expensive then I'd say yeah definitely go for it. So yeah those are my thoughts on this Colour by TVN more than just a pretty face palette. If you did like this video then please go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I usually upload videos once a week and yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!